Dr. Tammy of the Red Barn Healing Angels. We intend to be a cannabis dispensary here in Douglas City in Trinity County. Um, I've had the Red Barn now for since February 2017. I was looking for a residence to buy and on my way home from looking at the house, I saw the Red Barn. I walked in here and it was mine and I owned it a month later. Here we are in the main hall. This is where we intend to dispense our cannabis. We have the comfort station over here, which is your topicals and non-psychoactive. Over here, we have our more traditional cannabis products, such as flour and gummies. Discussing somebody's health needs is a very personal issue. The intention of the design bond here was to make for everybody to feel very comfortable to be able to express to us what they need in their cannabis medicine. So we have arranged for seating so that I can sit here and talk to you. We also have, um, we'll have music playing up here or we can go upstairs and I can talk to you personally on a confidential level. I help terminally and chronically ill children and adults with cannabis as medicine. I train their doctors, their therapists, or their parents on the proper uses of cannabis. Um, I have a children's program and some of my children utilize cannabis. Some of my children just utilize the money from cannabis for their healing needs and for the transportation getting to doctors and hospitals. I currently have 82 children that I am a trainer for. This is our outside where we intend to have events such as the Can We Talk. That is where I bring in my doctor friends from all over the country to speak about the medical side of cannabis. So this is our stage for our live music venues and for our Can We Talk. And then the back is leveled out so that we can have our vendors. All right, so this is the clone room. This is where we will have um, little plants for sale under lights it's for everybody to go and grow their own medicine. This is our cannabis distribution intake room where the cannabis will be brought in by special trucks, delivered in, checked in by security, and then clocked in to our systems and brought into our vault. Being compliant is a severe issue and we try our best to be compliant in every way possible, including locking up all our menace. So this here is our museum. It is called the Marijuana Prohibition Cannabis Now Museum. I've collected these pieces for several years from all over the country. And um, a lot of the pieces that I have actually came from Trinity itself when cannabis first started here nine years before Abraham Lincoln. These are the Vitsums. They built the Red Barn way back in 1914. So here we have my collection of bottles. They were actually from the Weaverville Drug Store, which was doing prescriptions in 1852. They were actually dispensing cannabis right here in Trinity County. Retail will help Trinity County in many, many ways. First of all, our residents will have safe and guided access to medicine. Second, we now have a local tax that includes retail, and the county desperately needs this kind of revenue. Finally, Trinity can access state grants worth millions of dollars, but the law stipulates we must have cultivation and brick and mortar to qualify. I live to do this. Um, cannabis is my life. Taking care of patients is my life. It's my mission. Thank you for stopping by today and visiting the Red Barn Healing Angels. Till we see you again.